And deputies are still investigating the murder of a missing woman. Latanya Chapin's body was found in the early hours of yesterday morning inside a car trunk. Two arrests have been made in connection to the case. Chapin's daughter, Rachel Colby, and her boyfriend, Juan C. Fuentes. C. Fuentes was charged with second-degree murder. Colby with rendering criminal assistance and trafficking in stolen property. KXLY Force Katie Curry is working for you tonight with reaction from relatives and the community. Katie? Aaron, police found the body of LaTanya Chapin around 12.30 in the morning on Friday. I spoke with several of her relatives who say her loss will have a big hole, will leave a big hole in their family. LaTanya Chapin's family says she loved the outdoors. She was always fishing, hiking, and camping. So when her family hadn't heard from her, they figured she was off on another one of her excursions. She was last seen February 24th. When relatives never heard from Chapin on her daughter's birthday, they began to worry. Deputies say she was reported missing March 7th. I mean, it's crazy. And I feel bad for the family and I pray for them because I couldn't imagine it. That's horrible. Brittany Bryant is a resident at Richard Allen Court Apartments, where Chapin's body was found. She says violent crime like this is not something that happens in the complex, and this horrifies her. I'm thinking my daughter's out there playing, all these other kids are playing, and there's a dead body in the trunk. Bryant says all the cars that belong to residents are required to have parking stickers. The lot is usually monitored, and if a car isn't moved or claimed by a resident in a few days, it's towed. Our landlord started that so that um, random people People couldn't park here and we have to have stickers and if you don't you get towed and so that made me think okay why wasn't that car towed for that long Bryant said the car had been there for at least two weeks but that's up to management to make sure they should check I spoke to management and they say because of renovations many cars were displaced they asked several tenants if the car belonged to anyone and they were working on removing it for now many of the residents are shocked and have the same reaction as Bryant I feel bad for the family and I pray for them. We will continue to keep you updated on the murder investigation on Facebook, Twitter, and KXY.com. Reporting in studio tonight, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News.